unbelievable. No governor can try this, despite no security at all, as governor storms protest ground in Ibadan. Oyo State Governor Sheyima Kende on Saturday stormed the venue of the June 12 protest in Ibadan, the state capital. Nigerian across the country are holding demonstrations against insecurity, poverty, and attacks on their fundamental human rights. The protesters are marching in Lagos, Abuja, Oyo, Oshun, and other pockets of towns and cities to mark 28 years anniversary of the annulment of the June 12, 1993 presidential election. Makinde arrived at the protest ground with little security to address residents of the state. The governor, who wore a brown attire, drove himself to the venue amid cheers and loud praises. Arewa has become the headquarters of kidnapping and banditry. Thanks to the gross incompetence of the man, you keep silent for because is your own. Every single day, we wake up to the news of massive slaughter of our fellows in this same area. Our sentiment should be our pain for those being slaughtered because they are also human beings who deserve to live. I hope one day our youth will take responsibility and wise up beyond crews. Just last week, 66 innocent Nigerians were slaughtered in Kebi. What did the Bwari did sweeting over say about it? Just yesterday, we woke up to the news of over 50 men slaughtered by the same bandits. But as usual, the burning issue even among Arawa youth is still Twitter ban. The same insecurity that made us gang up against good luck. A village, Jonathan, is the same thing we are justifying today because it's our own at the helm of affairs. But if they sit us down and ask us the benefit of having our own, we'll be left brain dead because Brary has three words of what good luck, Jonathan, did. Once you speak up, against Puari, they will say you should pray. Who we'll say we don't? Nigeria, even Africa, is known for religiosity. If anyone asks you to only pray, ask him why he went to the pools in 2015 to vote out Good Luck Ebele Jonathan and didn't rather sit and pray alone since it's only prayer that works can see that so everybody knows that the Buari administration has introduced insecurity everybody knows that the Buari administration has brought uh, crisis and unsafety you can imagine just like it is said that the, the governor has actually risked his life by participating in this uh, June 12 protest of a truth. <laughs> My dear, it's it's um he, he's a governor with a clean heart. That's what I will I will just say. He knows himself, he knows his people, and he knows what he is out for. When you know yourself, when you know your people. You know that your hands are clean where your people are. Definitely you won't be afraid to confront your people. So let me just say that that is what has given him that confidence to storm the protest ground even without fear. Meanwhile, the June 12 election, has, uh, a June 12 protest has come and gone. So what is now left is for the Nigerians to um, stay hacking to that very uh, uh, quest because that quest is what really matter is what really 
in uh, really matter for the for the June 12. There is nothing I would say that matters most on that very day that is different from that request because I can see that the youth are only demanding for the need for on that very day. So, um, Shema Kinde, well, I give you a kudos anyway. But you did this because you have confidence in your people and you believe that um, because of your good art and um, confidence which you have for your people, nothing can happen to you. It's happening. It's happening. So, um, congratulations to you because I will say that you have broken a record for this because personally I will still say to that no governor can try this that you have just done. It's, uh, it's worth commending. At least you have proved to, uh, to those who are doubting um, the protesters and also um, doubting uh, the capability of the youths who said that June 12th is going to be a day of protest where they will come out and demonstrate and make their their needs known to the to the to the to the world and not even to Nigerian alone. You see, um, not that uh, the youths really want to use June 12th to cause any uh, violence, havoc, or what have you known. They really want to use that day as an opportunity to pass a message to the world that look, this is what this country has made us to go through or is making us to go through, you know. So that is what they actually want to use that uh, the June 12th to do. But you know, this administration now doesn't like uh, um, pr uh, people coming out to protest against them. You see, you understand? Uh -huh. So that's it just that's it. Okay, uh, my dear viewers, based on this very fact, please and please and please and please uh, don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.